Welcome everyone to our online seminar where we will introduce Ailani, our artificial intelligence language interface in an updated version with an even more intelligent question answering system and thus improved knowledge retrieval. My name is Benedikt Weiss. Um, I will be the moderator of today's session and with me is my colleague, Dr. Angela Bauch. She's our product manager for Ailani. And she will now give you insights into the capabilities of Ailani in a live presentation. Uh, one last thing, um, for questions during the webinar, please use the chat. Um, I will collect the questions and we will have a Q&A session right after the presentation. Okay, thank you. Angela, the stage is yours now. Thank you, Benedict. Hello and welcome to today's webinar, Ailani 2.0. A uh, short agenda, uh, there will be a short introduction to Biomax and the Ailani semantic search solution. Then we will have a live demo of Ailani 2.0 and finish with a Q&A session. A few organizational information, the presentation and the live demo will take about 20 to 30 minutes and the Q&A session we will have another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, technically, you are all muted, and as Benetech just mentioned, please provide your questions via the chat. He will pick them up at the end, and we will answer your questions at the end of the webinar. So, Biomax is a knowledge yeah, management uh, solution uh, company providing solutions for the life science industry. We are in business for more than 20 years and we have a validated technology for the knowledge managed solution and have more than thousands users worldwide. Our expertise lies in semantic data integration, genome analysis, clinical information systems, synthetic biology, as well as brain sciences and research infrastructures. We are headquartered in Planeck near Munich in Germany. We have 45 employees, mostly life science and software experts. Biomax is also certified according to ISO 9001 and 27001. We developed Ailani, a semantic search solution for fast, easy and comprehensive knowledge discovery. Ailani is based on ontologies, semantic modeling, linguistics and artificial intelligence algorithms to retrieve relevant information from the continuously increasing amount of literature and Ailani actually can cope with millions of documents. And with the start of the pandemic last year, Biomax decided to make Ailani publicly available to the COVID-19 research community, which you can access here at ailani.ai. You can ask Ailani all kinds of questions, entering keywords or search terms, but also uh, natural language questions such as how to treat schizophrenia, or how does SARS compare to the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome virus, or what is a BCR able inhibitor, or which KRAS covalent inhibitors are being tested in the clinic, and retrieve uh, relevant information. What is the underlying technology of Elani? At the center, we have this large uh, knowledge graph, which is at the heart of um, Elani and we is continuously growing and we maintain this. And on the left, we have the data which serve as input to the semantic core. We have structured data such as uh, PubMed abstracts or clinical trials uh, data, or we have unstructured data, which is pure text, which can be your in-house document. So your word files, your PowerPoints or electronic lab notebooks or any news archives which you subscribe to. Then this data is all um, uh, subjected to specialized data detectors or pattern detectors. We additionally apply also OCR and OSR, which stands for optical character and optical structure recognition to extract also chemical information. And this all contributes to this uh, large knowledge graph, which then is subjected to tagging and indexing. And we provide different search algorithms for the global search. One is based on machine learning and the second one is a classical NLP query parser. 
In addition, we provide a sophisticated concept search with subsequent manual filtering. Additionally, we also provide uh, specialized searches like the chemical search, which enables to users to uh, run similarity and substructure searches, which is the chemicals perspective of Ailani. What is the content uh, within the Ailani? So we have the full set of Medline abstracts, about 3.2 million full text PubMed Central articles, the full set of clinicaltrials.gov, the COVID-19 literature, which was made publicly available, news feeds, and last summer we also have integrated 5,000 COVID-19 related patents in a collaboration with Sagacious AP. And lately we also have integrated selected science-related Wikipedia articles. And Ailani for free contains this whole set of literature, as well as the Ailani uh, cloud solution. On the other hand, the Ailani um, Enterprise Solution allows you to integrate also your own proprietary data, your Word document, PowerPoints or electronic lab notebooks files. The same holds true for the databases and ontologies. We have integrated about 70 public databases and 120 life science ontologies. And again, in the Ailani Enterprise Solution, you have the option to extend uh, Ailani with your proprietary structured data. It can be your antibody inventory or your chemical library or your IP portfolio, for example. Or in the case of the ontologies, your own uh, organization-specific controlled vocabulary can be integrated into existing ontologies and made uh, using for your search. How does the Ailani knowledge graph look like? It's uh, hierarchically built, so it's relation between ontologies. For instance, if we here have this node as the protein, a child concept would be a protein kinase. The protein kinase in turn has child concepts like the receptor tyrosine kinase and the non-receptor tyrosine kinase. And here we would have individuals like the EGF receptor and here Lin and Finn. And these individuals in turn have uh, links to their DNA counterparts, and this all contributes to this large knowledge graph. And then Alani's starter knowledge base typically has about 44 million triples, and the customer implementation typically handles 10 times more. The question answering index now is a combination of these semantic networks and neural networks, which we here refer as the Elani hybrid AI, where we combine prior knowledge from the ontologies, reasoning and generalization, plus neural networks then allow for a deeper understanding. And the AI finds yet unknown concepts. What are the uh, two search algorithms? The first one is the NLP question answering, where in the first step, the grammatical structure of an entered language question is analyzed. In the second step, the entered question is translated into a query against all previously extracted beliefs. And in the third step, the object of interest are reported, including the original source. For instance, here we have depicted one of these triples within the network, here, subject, object, linking predicate, surname, effects, osteosarcoma, and here the sentence where it was extracted from. The second algorithm is the AI question answering, where uh, typically a candidate set of four sentence chunks is determined, and this candidate set is generated using the semantic tagging index, and we're using also ontologies for contextualization. And the quality of the ontology play a critical role also for the quality of the answers which are retrieved. And from this candidate set of four sentence chunks, a neural network extracts direct answers to the entered question. And based on a machine learning score, the answers are then reported in a ranked order. What are now the new features of Ailani 2.0? We introduced a toolbar for fast access to your search history, bookmarks, tags, and scheduled alerts. Moreover, we have introduced personalized tags, a way of even better organize your bookmarks. We have extended the reports, displaying also related documents and compounds. And also we extended the question answering AI, it's the query to question AI, where AI kind of guesses what a user intended to ask. 
And now with the launch of Ailani 2.0, three weeks ago, we offer two products, Ailani Cloud, Personal or Teams, and the Alani Enterprise version, which can be customized for former clinical chemistry. The Alani Cloud version has all the public content and it's an easy way to and cost effective way to search within the public domain. With the Enterprise version, you have the option to integrate your own organizational data and compare to the public data. Uh, the use case I will present is a competitor analysis on RAS, and RAS is actually the most frequently mutated gene family in cancers. RAS plays a role and acts downstream of growth factor receptors like the EGF receptor, and in turn then activates MAP kinase and PA3 kinase pathways. RAS is a GTPase and exists in two states. One is the GDP and the second the GTP state, the GTP being the active state and typically mutations in RAS um, lock it into the GTP state, making it constitutively active, leading then to proliferation, eventually then cancer uh, development. A mutation uh, of one of these isoforms in KRAS are responsible for one third of all cancers, in particular lung, colorectal and pancreatic cancer. And investigators have been uh, searching for and developing, trying to find uh, RAS inhibitors for the last 30 years. And even 10 years ago, the field of RAS inhibitors was so elusive that it was termed undruggable. And it was the Shokat and the colleagues were the pioneers actually in identifying and developing allele-specific covalent inhibitors against um, KRAS G12C. And these two compounds are based on these uh, compounds from Shokat, from Amgen, AMG510, Amirati Therapeutics, MRTX849, are in clinical trials and look very promising. Here we have depicted the distribution of RAS isoform mutation across different tumor types. For instance, we have KRAS, which is mainly expressed in lung, pancreatic and colorectal uh, adenocarcinoma. NRAS is mostly expressed in melanoma and HRAS in head and neck and blood Eritelial uh, carcinoma. Here on the right, we have the percentage of here KRAS mutation in codon 12 uh, for all the tissues here for the pancreas, the colon, and the lung. And we see here the G12C mutation predominantly expressed in lung. And that is actually the allele which is targeted by the Amgen and the Mirati pharmaceutical compounds. So it has an effect mostly on lung cancer. Whereas um, in pancreas and in colon, mainly these two mutations, G12D, occur, and it's more tricky to tackle these mutations. So there are more compounds, again, this with the cysteine, which is reactive by itself. And here we have the NRAS um, isoform mutation in codon 61 responsible for melanoma. Okay, now I would like to switch to the application and live demo. This is the login page to Ailani. Here, when you click on Start Now, you can access the free version of Ailani. Here in this demo, I will use the uh, cloud solution and enter the application uh, as a named user. Here, after logging in, I'm entering the entry page, which consists of a simple search box. And here at the top, this is one of the new features of Elani 2.0. We have this toolbar where you have fast access to your search history, your bookmarks, tags, as well as scheduled alerts. And with the Ailani Cloud and Enterprise solution, you have the option actually to hide it or to display the toolbar, uh, select from a set of different color schemes, and also select the language. 
And in the search box, we have here this small eye icon. Clicking on that um, and, um, opens a drop down menu where you are presented with different questions, example questions, which you can choose here by clicking on the plus icon. This is then entered to the search box and you redirect it here then to the results page. And as an example here, this is the document centric view. And here in the second tab, we have the direct answers to the question entered. So the question which was entered is how many people worldwide suffer from diabetes? And here we have the answers about 350, 80 million. I can also go back uh, to my uh, toolbar to my bookmark searches and for instance ask the question one related to RAS like which allele specific covalent inhibitors against KRAS are being tested in the clinic. So I click on this breadcrumb and my saved search is being um, triggered and here in the second tab I'm presented with the results. So here the first hit are the two uh, compounds in clinical trials, AMG510 from Amgen and MRTX849 from Mirati Therapeutics. The second uh, hit is actually ARS853, which is from um, Wellspring Biosciences, which is based actually on the first compound developed by Shokat and colleagues and Wellspring Bioscience actually made that these compounds more uh, drug-like, make it more potent and more cellular active. So with Ailani, you can enter um, simple questions and retrieve direct answers. We have also extended the AI, where um, the uh, AI also guesses what a user intended to ask in case not a real question is entered, so no questioning word is added. So let's um, take an example from the food sciences and enter alternative food sweetener and check what Ailani will answer. So we have entered a phrase like alternative food sweetener and Elani guesses uh, what is an alternative for food sweetener and represents then automatically the answer to this transformed uh, um, uh, question. And we retrieve interesting and correct answers like polyols, artificial sweeteners, sugar alcohols, sugar substitutes, sucrose, yeah, saccharin, intense sweetening agents, and so forth. And selecting any of the answers here, then on the right we have always like an info box with additional information on the entry which has been selected. Okay, now let's go back to our um, RAS example. Let's enter the KRAS mutant isoform. And check the results here on the document centric page. We are presented with about 36,000 uh, results across the following document sources. We have results in PubMed Central, Medline, clinical trials, library documents, patents, and also Wikipedia. Let's now refine for clinical trials. So we have uh, 610 clinical trials. And now let's use also the year refiner. And as you see here nicely, you can see that clinical trials for RAS only started about 10 years ago. In the early 2000s, only kinase inhibitors were heading to the clinic. And RAS only started about yeah, 10 years ago. And actually, this is also a new feature of um, Ailani version 2, the introduction of these range sliders, range sliders for these, uh, the year refiner, where you can refine exactly to a range of years. But now let's go back to 
clinical trials and see which pharmaceutical companies have clinical trials with KRAS. And for this, we are using um, the organization refiner. So all refiners below the year refiner are based on ontologies, which are represented here as these colorful sunburst diagrams. These are multi-pie chart diagrams. And here you are this, we see that the root concepts, we have five root concepts in the organization uh, ontology uh, shown here as the innermost pie chart. And the size actually of these uh, pie pieces represents the relative hit rate within the result set. And now let's go for organization in industry and further pharmaceutical industry organization and see these are all the companies having clinical trials with KRAS. Let's select now Mirati Therapeutics and we reduce the result to five clinical trials where Mirati Pharmaceutical is heading, leading. We can select one of these clinical trials and here we have the clinical trial report with the summary information on the left side sponsor when it was started. Here we have some uh, information about the study description, contacts and location. We also can go to the original um, web page of clinical trials. And now let's go back here with this colorful uh, breadcrumbs. You can always go back steps, refine and um, do other search uh, strategies. So let's try to find the Amgen clinical trials. Uh, this is also a new feature actually of the Elani version 2 that you can uh, search within the search box directly. And here we selecting Amgen. And here we see the 12 clinical trials of um, Amgen with AMG 510. We can also bookmark them and yeah, earmark them for further downstream analysis. So using here the organization refiner, we can easily and efficiently retrieve information on clinical uh, competitive landscaping. And another um, information here which is retrieved by uh, Ailani is also when we go back here to KRAS. For instance, um, each uh, concept hit here on the right side uh, gives you additional information. Here in this case on the gene and the protein of KRAS, we can select one of these protein links and are redirected to the protein report where we have information about synonyms, aliases, genomic information, amino acid lengths of the protein, molecular weight, and so forth. Here in the middle, we have information about the protein function, RAS being a small GTPase, or in which pathway it is uh, represented. And here on the right, we have associated information, so cross-links to other databases like UniProtKB, so from the protein report, we can go to the UniProt report, where in the middle we have also um, information about the protein function, but also information about the 3D structures, which comes from PDB. We can go to the PDB report and have the crystal structure of here, KRAS, human KRAS G12C, covalently bound to the Amgen compound AMG510. And here we also have the uh, original paper where the crystal structure was identified with. So with Vailani, in addition to get uh, a clinical perspective, you also have get detailed information about a gene at the genome level, at the protein level, and as well as on the crystal structure. Now let's um, analyze or get some information about yeah, research and development of different isoforms. Let's start with KRAS and then a second example, I will show you an uh, example with NRAS to across the different tumor types. So with KRAS, we know it's predominantly also 
mutations that they are, are expressed in um, uh, pancreatic cancer. So now let's use the disease refiner. And you see here nicely also with the size of this pie chart that most hits are within disease of cellular proliferation, so cancer diseases. But now let's check for pancreatic cancer and select pancreatic carcinoma. And as you see here uh, with this concept pancreatic carcinoma, not only hits with the direct concept are retrieved, but also synonyms and inferred concepts are retrieved like pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. We can uh, also go even more specific and as an example, we just enter pancreatic ductal carcinoma. I go back, select again the disease refiner. And go right away to pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma and reduce the results even further to 3,342 results. Uh, let's say we are interested to find out um, which yeah, medical university is working on KRAS and pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. So let's um, check what the medical university of Vienna is working on. So here we are using again the organization refiner. Go here to institution of higher learning and check for medical university of Vienna, select it and we refine our results to nine documents where the University of Vienna is working on KRAS and pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. For instance here biochemical and genetic predictors of overall survival in patients. Here we have the abstract of the document. Here we have the full text. And this is also one of the new feature. We can also represent similar documents based on the triples we extract from the full text here and we can earmark them for further downstream analysis. So here, for instance, if we go back, we're interested in all of these. We can export them as Excel, CSV, also in RISC format to enter it in your reference manager right away. Okay, what we can do also, we can um, refine any results also at the knowledge graph level. So let's, as an example, go back to the disease. So here with this disease concept hit on the right, so we have the information about the disease here. We have here also the synonyms. And here we can access also the knowledge graph, which takes some time to build up. And here on the right, we also always have this um, lineage graph showing here uh, pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma here on the right side showing you the lineage within the disease uh, ontology and here to the left also um, the more anatomical part of adenocarcinoma um, and here in the meantime the a knowledge graph built up at the center having the pancreatic endocarcinoma and connected with other concepts and the size actually of a node represents actually the connectivity so the bigger the node the higher connected the node within the knowledge graph and here also the size or the thickness of these edges represent the number of literature evidence for the respective uh, interaction. So here we have only two um, uh, interactions or evidences or one. Here this is one thicker one. And we also can extend actually the 
knowledge graph um, by selecting any node of interest um, because typically what we do here we limit the, the path length to a certain path that we don't create these big hairballs so that you don't uh, understand anything so by uh, selecting any node you can further expand this takes some time uh, because we have also overlaid additional information such as uh, the um, information about the literature and also the connectivity. But as soon then we will see um, how the extended graph looks like with the original graph which was loaded here. Here we can recenter it. So here on the left we have the original graph on pancreatic adenocarcinoma and here to the right we have the one on uh, KRAS and here we have linking concepts like e free ubiquitin ligase or glycolytic process and so on. So with Elani you can also explore your answers here at the knowledge graph level. Let's um, go to uh, the another example and entering the other isoform, NRAS, and refine further for clinical trials. So we reduce the results to 180, and now we know that is, it is involved in melanoma. Let's refine for the disease melanoma skin melanoma and we have nine results now let's check which company has clinical trials um, within this within melanoma with NRAS we go again to the pharmaceutical industry organization and we can see here GSK, Novartis and Pfizer are working on NRAS and skin melanoma. For instance, here Novartis Pharmaceuticals with free clinical trials. And let's also check for the industry in the life sciences. And here we see we also have a clinical trial from Genentech Roche. And here we again can go to the specific report. This is actually a, a clinical trial started just uh, two weeks ago and it's evaluating two compounds, Belvarofenib. This is a RAF inhibitor alone as a single agent or in combination with a MEK inhibitor. Again, here we can earmark it for uh, further downstream analysis. And as a last example, I will show you that we can also enter compound names. As an example, let's take Camostat, which is approved for chronic pancreatitis in Japan, and which is also in clinical trials for um, COVID-19. And here you see also synonyms thereof are retrieved. And here we have the chemical information about Camostat by clicking on the structure or the name. We are redirected to the chemical report, where here we have again the basic information, the structure, cross references to PubChem or other sources like Campbell. And here in the middle, we have the chemical properties, molar mass, molecular weight, inches, smiles, and so forth. And here we also have the lineage graph again. And you see here Camostat uh, being also an anti-coronaviral agent. This is actually the target uh, of Camostat. And here the chemistry part, what kind of compound it is. And here on the right side, we have associated content. So we run um, 
automatically similarity searches and based on the similarity sc uh, score they are sorted here and we have similar compounds here for camostat. And now let's go uh, for the final session to the bookmark browser and check what we have bookmarked. We have bookmarked answers, documents, compounds, searches. Let's go to the document. So these were with NRAS in melanoma. Let's, we can add the tag and select from existing one or create a new one like NRAS. which is then tagged with NRAS. This one is a medical error with KRAS. We can add here one of the existing one. Oh no, we don't have any of that. So let's create one. And so forth. That's the way how you can better organize your um, earmarked documents, compounds. So this is the full section of um, uh, earmarked compounds. For instance, for RAS, we have three items. The, for instance, the 3D structure of the RAS mutant with the Amgen compound. Or here, we also have the study on NRAS and so forth. So that's with Ailani what you can do. You can better organize all your data, export it and evaluate for downstream analysis. Now I would like to conclude. So with Ailani, uh, we showed that we can retrieve information about the clinical competitive landscape. We also retrieve research and development information on RAS isophore mutation across different tumor types. We can get detailed information on linked data at the genome, gene, protein, and also protein structure level. And we can organize identified information for downstream evaluation using bookmarks and tags. And I'm happy now to take any questions. Yeah, thanks for listening. Okay, thank you very much, Angela, for this great presentation. So now it's time for our Q&A session. Yet I didn't receive questions. Um, I would say, um, yeah, let's wait a bit. So if you have any question, please um, type it into the chat and I will forward it to Angela to be answered. Okay, Angela, we have one question. Mm -hmm. how, hard, how hard is it to integrate companies' internal data? We have done it already for a company. It's no problem. So, um, yeah. It depends, we need in a project together to identify which uh, documents are of interest. Um, we also have the option, as I explained in the introduction, that we also can extract chemical information if we're interested in chemistry. But the yeah, documents, if they are PDFs, it's no problem. Or we convert them to PDFs, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, And we can cope really with a large amount of documents which are processed, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, one other very interesting question. Um, what are the advantages of Ailani versus Google search? Yeah, one big advantage is actually that you, uh, for your organization, you can also compare not only to the public domain, but you use your own data. Google does not have your data. So this is one of the big advantages. and. With the uh, life science specific ontologies, we can search more efficiently and get more uh, yeah, relevant answers. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, one other question. How can a global company that has drug discovery and 
uh, AG take advantage of Ailani? So what was the same AG? Um, agriculture, agriculture. So how uh, kind I of global? Yeah. Okay, uh, if you have a global company, we have also actually introduced the concept of personas. So if we have an enterprise solution, you can also within your big organization use uh, the same solution, but introduce different personas. So one is uh, specialized and configured for agriculture and one for, uh, let's say, more chemistry in this case. And then the refiners ex would be exposed for the domain specific yeah, research areas. So in agriculture, we would have all the agriculture, the yeah, the genome of agriculture, rice and so on. So this would be, you can differently have the same solution, but with different personas, expose different graphical user interfaces and thereby uh, using the same system. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, one more question. Um, so Angela, you showed biologic pharma use cases. How can okay. Ailani be used by medical doctors and researchers for clinical medicine? Yeah, for clinical medicine, first of all, um, probably it's all dependent on the data which is in the system. You would be interested to uh, introduce different types of data. So clinical records, for instance, or um, other registries. So the data which is interested, interesting to the clinical um, use cases. And as well, also the uh, ontologies can be adapted uh, accordingly. So it's again uh, a question of what kind of data and we are able to integrate any kind of data and have shown this already. And yeah, that's how we can tailor a solution to also to the clinics. Okay, thank you. Uh, one more question. Um, how deep does Ailani's source data for food go? Does it have data on natural products linked to specific foods or nutrition content or even farming data from the United Nations? Uh, we actually have also an agriculture persona, um, the basic formation. Uh, probably not everything yet what was mentioned is integrated, but we also already have uh, some data which is publicly available and it can be extended and within a project also um, it could be identified what is the best data to be integrated what is missing this could be possible yeah we already can ask in this direction yeah that's possible oh, okay great okay one more question um can ailani delve into microbiome data um, dive into microbiome data, maybe. Microbiome, so bacterial data. Obviously, we also can integrate uh, genomes. So you've seen uh, in the protein report, we had also links to the human genome. And we can also integrate bacterial um, uh, genomes and thereby get also all the information about the bacterial uh, genetics. And yeah that should also be possible and then integrate uh, relevant reports to bacterials. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So right now I don't see any more questions. Um, yeah, thank you very much. If there are any more questions, now is the last chance. Otherwise, you still can contact Biomax or myself to get, if you have some questions which come up later, please contact us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, there are two more uh, questions. No. Okay. Um, would it be possible to get the recording as not all of our employees had uh, the opportunity to participate today? I can uh, answer this. Um, sure. We will upload a recording on YouTube and also on the uh, GoToWebinar um, platform. Uh, next question. Um, 
how can Ailani user keep track of all the various searches over a longer period of time? So consider a researcher working on a topic over several months. Yeah, this I haven't actually shown, but this is, which is in the toolbar, the very first uh, functionality where you keep your search history. So we automatically store the search history of every uh, named user. So this is only possible, obviously, for the Ailani Cloud and Ailani Enterprise solution. For the Ailani um, public version, it doesn't work because it's one public user. But we keep track of every single search which is represented by these colorful breadcrumbs, which I have shown also within the saved searches. And there you can just go back, um, click on any of the searches on the breadcrumb and rerun your, your, your search. In addition, it's also possible actually to create alert on these um, searches that you are um, notified by email in case new content has come into the system and has been processed and there are new answers for instance for the clinical trials if you do a clinical trial survey you're interested to find out in a month if new companies have filed any clinical trials and you would automatically receive an email alert and see the difference and additional content which uh, has been added or retrieved in the meantime okay i see one more question <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is Ailani self-improving, self-adapting based on what most users click on in various searches over time? Um, we have kind of, a, yeah, we're adapting the machine, uh, learning the models, but it's not directly on clicking what is being done, not so it's, it's more like um, on, yeah, Somehow it is with the related documents, which I have shown, associate documents, for instance, if um, the knowledge graph is continuously growing and new triples are added, um, be based on yeah, uh, new content coming in or being extracted, the system also automatically adapts and uh, presents the other type or new types of associated document. So in this case, there is this kind of self-learning or self-evolution yeah, ev of the system, yeah. So, but it's uh, still on the personal level, right? This adaption. No, in this case, no, it's not on the personal, no. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, um, I see no more questions, so if there are any more questions, please ask them now. Okay, yeah. So thank you very much uh, for your attention. Um, so as I said, um, we will um, provide you with the recording on YouTube and also um, we uploaded uh, three handouts you can take with you uh, for non-confidential use. So the, um, the presentation slides, a product profile of Ailani, and also the recent release note of the uh, Ailani version two. Yeah, thank you very much and have a nice day. Yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.